Hello, hello, it's Hakuru15 back here with another review video, and today we're reviewing the Halo Megaplux Falcon from Halo Reach. Uh, this has been a very exciting time for me, as I managed to find a pretty good bargain. Uh, I think the local seller on eBay was selling it around $32 or $35, and I just paid just pretty much a little bit for shipping. So overall, it was around $40 40-something $40 dollars. But, um, yeah, no, um, I'm so lucky to get this at a really good price and, uh, not expensive either. So it was really, really good because I've been meaning to get a hand, my hands on a Falcon for a long time. Just never really expected to, to, uh, run into one, uh, at a really good deal. So, uh, yeah, here is the Falcon. Now I will have to say this is a pre-owned set, so... Uh, not, not a sealed set, but a pre-owned set. So, um, there are some stickers that are a little bit peeled off. There are, uh, bits and pieces, uh, that may not look right, but, uh, I did what I can to fix the, uh, to fix the model up, uh, because, um, the, the seller told me, uh, he owned this set, uh, when he was young, so... There were a lot of uh, bits and pieces that weren't supposed to be there, so I had to look back at the blueprints again and uh, had to re uh, fix a lot of things with a bunch of spare parts. But uh, luckily, all the parts are there. Uh, there was just one of few parts I just needed uh, just to put this thing back together. But yep, uh, here it is. Um, as you can tell, the the nose is a little bit off. It's from a warhog. As you can see, but again, uh, I think the uh, our, Zong's our goal is to make sure the shape is, is exactly as it is, and the parts match. Then uh, that's all that matters. But overall, it looks amazing. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, yeah, I believe the figures are still here. I think you got the. You do have the the uh, recon pilot, which is awesome, really cool. I really like these little uh, studs here, which is sick. Kind of acts like the, the control, uh, which is really really nice, really nice. And that locks in really well. The, the cockpit looks really cool. I really like the shape of it. Um, the the nose turret rotates at a good 360 degrees. Yes, yeah, so it goes uh, down and back in position, which is really, really nice. I'm kind of glad I actually came with a full set of landing platforms. So that's really, really awesome. Uh, there were a bunch of stickers that were still on the uh, still on the sheet, so I pretty much took the privilege of basically putting the stickers back to where they were. There were one or two stickers that I didn't know where they would go. I even looked back at the blueprint and still didn't know where they would go. So I'll have to figure that out later on my own. But overall, I managed to put on majority of the stickers um, and I have to peel some stickers as they were in the wrong place. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, because um, these stickers were really old by the way. So this, again, this was owned by a uh, this is pre-owned, so, yeah, not really <laughs> my responsibility, I'm sorry. But again, um, I tried to fix it as best as I could. Uh, the, the rotors, you know, they spin, which is really, really nice, which is really nice. They even rotate as well, which is really cool. This one actually, this, this, uh, one actually, it's in there pretty nice and tight, which is really good. This one's pretty loose, as you get, like, I get, this is an old set, so, um, oh, no, this one's really nice. It's just a little bit loose, but it's not bad. Um, I did, uh, took the privilege of adding um, other figures in there, as you can see. So, in there, you have, uh, you have George. This is, um, uh, from a different, uh, site I bought. I think I bought him from AliExpress, so he's a bit of a bootleg. But he's not that bad. I just want to put him on there. I got a Halo Wars Marine. Uh, we got Cat here, which is sick, which is really awesome. We got Cat in there. 
And I got a, a Halo Reach Marine in there too. So, which is really, really nice. Now, I will have to say though, um, I'm not quite sure, but it's actually quite difficult in uh, fitting a, a Halo action figure inside. Uh, I mean, even for the newly articulated ones, it's actually really hard to put in one of the older ones as well. Like I have tried sticking this thing inside, um, you know, the passenger the passenger area, and the uh, well, the set would not let me. I even followed the the instructions as it were, and uh, it's not high enough to fit its head in. Like you could squeeze its head in, but it gets stuck in there. So uh, even even like for the kneeling position, this actually um, had me struggling a bit there. So uh, I'm not quite sure if that's my fault on this part or the manual's fault because I followed it right to the letter and uh, still has not um, <laughs> managed to fit in there properly. So unfortunately, um, well, I'm not. Uh, able to successfully fit one to just sit inside uh, it does come with a power uh, power cell which is awesome or the one of the, the explosive canisters which is sick hey, uh, the weapons it comes with is actually pretty cool so it does come with cat's uh, pistol I added a sniper rifle in there just for the sake of it. And it does come with a Halo Reach Assault Rifle, which I decided to give it to the Halo Marine. Which is really nice. Very, very nice. I believe the pistol... The pistol either belongs to the Recon Pilot or Cat, because she uses the pistol quite a lot. So yeah. One thing I really like about this Falcon is the gunner seats, just like from the Halo Reach game. Uh, the gunner seats is really, really cool. I really like this. Our uh, only problem is uh, it does not stick really well. It's quite loose. Uh, as you stick in there, it does hold place. But if you whittle around with it, it does pop off really, really easily. Like, really easily. However, it does have some really good uh, freedom of movement. So it's really nice. Uh, but I will say, if, <laughs> if you fit around with it, yeah, this does pop off really, really easily. Um, but fitting these guys on the gunner seats is really easy, which is really good. So, no trouble at all. No, no trouble at all. It's just fitting them inside the passenger seat area is really hard. Like, really, really hard. As we look underneath, we do have... The landing gear, which is really nice. Landing gear is here. And we do have the uh, landing gears on the back too, which is really good. Really, really good. Whew. It's actually quite hard holding this thing while recording. Hmm. Uh, but uh, honestly, this Falcon has amazing attention to detail. Uh, it's got the thrusters in the back too, which is really, really cool, which is really sick. It's just like from the game. It's also got the, uh, you know, the flaps, the fins in the back back area too, which is really cool. I added a uh, red red spotlight in the back, you know, just for a little bit of detail. And the stickers is really quite nice too. It adds that little bit of flair, which is cool. Uh, this does flip open on the sides here. Uh, I believe it's just for uh, shaping the, uh, uh, what's it called, shaping the, that one flat area that's shown in the game. Um, I know this because I've done a little bit of 3D modeling. I've tried to 3D model a Falcon before on 3DS Max. So, uh, to me that was a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> but overall, there's, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but yeah, honestly. What can I say? This thing is really awesome. Really, really cool. I absolutely love this. Um, so if we move this Falcon out of the way, here we go. This is the landing pad. It also comes with stickers. I only need around six stickers, and that's mainly on the sides here. If you, as you can see, 
and you can flip this and flip it down. That's pretty much all, all there is to it. It's a landing pad. You could probably possibly fit a uh, pelican on top of here, which is neat too. Very, very neat. But yes, overall, this is the Halo Reach Balcony. I mean, what can I say? This thing's really cool. Um, it's structured really well, it holds up really well. You can actually hold the back of it and just hold it. It's really, really strong, but I wouldn't recommend it. Don't hold it too, too long. <laughs> but um, overall, this Falcon is really neat. It's really cool. It's got, it's got the shape, it's got the design to it. And like, yeah, it's, it's a Falcon. What more could you want? Uh, pretty sad there weren't any other parts for, for these studs here because uh, pretty sure in Halo Reach they have like a bit of a pattern in the in the front here. Maybe I would have suggested maybe a long time ago they would have had like a, a flat square and have a sticker for it or a printed flat square for it. But overall, this doesn't really bother me that much. It's really really cool. It's really neat and. Overall, it's a Falcon, man. It's really cool. It can hold people. It can hold like a maximum of one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five people. I mean, if you could count for seven, um, if you're able to fit like two more um, little mini figs inside the passenger seat, that would be great too. If anyone can figure out how to fit those guys in, let me know because I've tried to fit them in. I really was not able to. Overall, yeah, this is the uh, Halo Falcon. Um, I hope you guys liked this uh, review. I'm sorry the camera was a bit shaky. I was trying out a new tripod. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it to fit well on the table. And um, the height was a little bit too high, even at its lowest setting. So unfortunately, that was, uh, uh, that was a screw up from me, unfortunately. But again, thank you guys for watching this review. And uh, I'm also going to be doing something very new. Uh, it's going to be called the Incomplete Review. Basically, the Incomplete Review is me reviewing incomplete sets. Because uh, I have bought quite a lot of sets that are either missing parts. Um, they're not missing too many parts. They're just missing some parts. So that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, and I've recently bought a Halo 4 Pelican and a Rhino, and um, they actually don't look that bad. They're in, in pretty good shape. Uh, they are just missing um, some few potential parts, which I've tried to fix up. So uh, I will be doing a review on those, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, you guys might be into them. So I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is doing all right over there, especially with the protests um, going going on. And you know, all I just ask is you know, just be safe out there. And yeah, other than that, please have a good one, guys, and peace.